this north side of the storage facility is always a swamp especially in the spring with all of the runoff and snow melt this year knowing that that was coming we wanted to try and get ahead of things first thing we did was clean out all of the snow and try to get as much of the mud and muck cleaned out as possible along this north side of the facility. We then put in some temporary fence just to help us delineate along the property line. With that done, we hauled in some road base. The road base is some really great material. Once we can get things to warm up and then dry out, we'll be able to reshape this material and compact it and it will make for some really good sub base. This year, for some reason, because of the weather, there has been a lot of moisture on this side. Really, it's, we've had a lot of warm up and then cool down, and then warm up and cool down. And this side of the facility has been really wet. Our hope is that by adding this road base and regrading and reshaping, is that we can better control the drainage when things do warm up. I think we've also learned some lessons this year in plowing snow about where we should push that snow so that we don't have as much runoff in certain areas. It may be better to carry that snow further away so that when it does warm up, things can dry out quicker around the buildings. But a lot of this is going to continue to be learn and grow and adjust accordingly. You may have noticed in the beginning when we put the road base down that we had snow on the ground in some spots but we certainly had frost in the ground from the cold weather. And we understand that that frost and some of that snow is going to cause a lot of this road base that we're putting down to soften up in the coming months as things get warmer. We understood that, but felt like this little break in the weather was a good opportunity to get ahead of the potential mess and mud along this side of the building and that the spring mud season would be a lot easier to get through if we could jump on this sooner rather than later. One of the things that we've really dealt with this year in particular, plowing snow, and I think it it's mostly the weather that we've had with the, the cycles of warm and cold, is that as we have plowed snow around the buildings we are finding that we are plowing a lot of gravel. I think that part of our issue is that the gravel that we put down is larger two and a half inch minus material which doesn't seem to lock together very well. In retrospect, 
we should have maybe put down this larger two and a half minus material and then come back over the top of that and put down four to six inches of three quarter minus that would lock together better and give us a, a better, more solid base to then push the snow off of with the snow plow. So now that we've put down some road base, you can see here I'm going along with the grader and trying to clean up some of this two and a half inch material and push it out over the road base. My hope is to, if we can drop this existing grade down six or eight inches, then when the weather is better and things have warmed up and there isn't frost in the ground and it's not muddy, we could haul in some three quarter inch minus material and regrade and shape in front of these buildings. And then that would allow us to compact it, drive on it through the summer and the fall, and hopefully have a really solid surface for plowing snow next year. People reach out to me quite a bit for building roads here in North Idaho. And it's a difficult thing because as you build roads you know that those roads are going to get driven on and that the weather is going to affect that road just like the vehicles do and I try to explain to people that having a, a gravel road is going to require yearly maintenance Every spring, you're going to want to regrade and reshape your driving surface. You're going to want to spend time cleaning out ditches and making sure that waters can flow where they need to. I try to explain to people the importance of the maintenance and that if you do it a little bit each year then it doesn't add up and cost a lot of money to redo the road after two or three or five years of deferred maintenance. Now some people might argue that if you have a road engineered and designed and then built that you should be in really good shape and that's true you will get a better road and it will stay together longer especially if all of the drainage and culverts and slopes and grades are designed well and then built well but even those types of roads require continuous maintenance locally where we live here in North Idaho there are a lot of county maintained gravel roads and every summer we see the county out there cleaning ditches and replacing culverts and regrading and reshaping and recompacting. 
in order to maintain those roads. Now, a private road is never going to see the wear and tear or the abuse that a county road is, but I think there are a lot of similarities and things to consider when maintaining your own roads or driveways around your property.